Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So it seemed like a good time just to catch up on Trump's train wreck of a life. I mean, how many suits has he got going on? How many? The one in the state, I think it's Colorado, has, is almost there uh, keeping off the ballot. So let's just do a rundown of Trump's train wreck of a life and see what the cards tell us. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, you know, please subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> It seemed like time to catch up. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on in Trump world and, and all of those uh, insurrectionists. Uh, that's, that's a hard word to say, actually, insurrectionists. So, but, um, you know, maybe it's time just to do a quick rundown on some of the court stuff, his life in general. Is he going crazy? Um, I mean, now, as of this video, uh, taping this video, he's been gagged. If only that were actually really true. I mean, a gag. But um, but he's been limited on uh, who he can um, denigrate on on in the world uh, out loud. So we'll run through Trump's existence and see what the cards can tell us. But of course, before we do any of that, let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay, so Trump, what a mess. I guess um, maybe the first thing to do, let's try to figure out, is he, is he sane? Three cards, is he sane, period. One, two, three. Let's get some kind of baseline for, for who he is. I mean, if the cards can just tell us this, is he, is he sane? First card, I get Wheel of Fortune. Well, it's a crapshoot. Wheel of Fortune is, you know, it, something can happen for you or it can't. Wow, I think his wheel is really loose. Next card, Knight of Swords. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Don Quixote uh, charging at windmills. And then this card here, uh, Three of Cups Celebrations. You know, this tells me that this is a lucky son of a gun. So we'll put them in the order that they came out. This is one lucky fella. Um, is he sane or not? Look, it's a crapshoot any given day, any given hour, I'm going to say. Um, he is charging at windmills, just like Don Quixote. And um, the uh, Three of Cups shows us that there <coughs> is some room for celebration. I can't believe it. So... He's going to be given some sort of a compassionate consideration. I think in the end, this is what's going to happen. So is he saying? The cards didn't say definitely that he was, and they implied that he's not. At least all the time. So now let's see. Is Donald Trump, <coughs> and I've asked this question before, is he going to end up in jail? Is he actually going to end up detained behind bars? Losing my voice and I don't want to stop to give something to drink. So we'll just power through. I'll do a lot of swallowing. So, <coughs> and coughing, I'm sure. Ah, moves out of troubled water. The Knight of Pentacles, he is the fighter for his value. The Hierophant, the government is going to be in control of him. One more card. 
Ace of Pentacles, there's value in this man. This is telling me that, you know, truth, justice, rules, and law, that's what swords are. And this is telling me that he's moving out of the most troubled water. He is this fighter, this knight of pentacles. But look how small his value is. The government is going to be in control in the end. And, um, and this little bit of value becomes a little more valuable in the end because that um, his, his, his influence on the public is something that has to be considered, but he has to be held to account. Very interesting, and I think pretty correct. So it doesn't say definitely that he'll be incarcerated, but he'll be under the control of the government, which I think is pretty uh, interesting. Is he going to lose all of his money? That's simple. And, you know, the cards know. When I say all of his money, you know, he will always have his government pension. I think it's $400,000. But is he going to lose, you know, is he going to be down to, you know, just a, for him, a little bit? Three cards. One. If you like these cards, by the way, they're real easy to use and they're easy to read too because they're so clear. But, oh, that was interesting. But uh, i tell you more about them at the end of the video. And also, you know, subscribe. So, the money. Whoop. Government's in control. Fighting off all these actions. He comes out in the end. Look at that. That, that This guy is something else. Man. And let's ask the final question. Will he be president? of the United States again. Will he be president of the United States again? Three cards. Let's see how this goes. First card. Well, remember the way things were. This means thinking about the past. So uh, maybe this is all he'll be left with is the memory of uh, when he did that. Ah. Uh, Looking at things from another position, another way, he's a hanged man. And then, but in the end, there's some temperance. He's not going to be president again. This doesn't tell me that. But what it tells me is he will always be remembering that time that he was. And nobody can ever take that away from me. He was president of the United States of America, the most, it's, it's insanity, insanity. But he will be a hanged man. He will have to look at things from another, another perspective. But there will be temperance in that punishment because he was president before. The last thing I want to ask is I want to get an idea sometime. Will we see Trump paying for his crimes? I don't mean totally. I don't mean will we see him start to get fined or lose another property. I want to know will we see the the finality of the punishment will we see the end picture of all the punishment he got um and I, when i say we i'm considering this within my lifetime i'm 66 so will we see the punishment in our lifetime three cards one two three the finality not the again look at this for the this hierophant to keep coming up like this out of all these cards over and over again this is strong look at that the end yeah we will see the end the government will be in control there will be honesty and fairness and balance involved but we'll see the end of Trump. Amazing cards. Amazing. It scares me, actually. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So these are the Albano Weight Tarot. And who are these by? I think these are, are these U.S. Games? 
I'm not sure to tell you the truth. But uh, what these are, these are for a fellow whose name actually is Albano. Um, and they're done in the um, in the uh, style of the Rider Waite. Well, what makes them interesting is that um, they're very bright. I mean, they're just uh, the typical color of the Rider Waite cards, but somehow, wow, where the Pat McCombin Smith cards have kind of a, a foggy tinge over them, uh, these are just really shockingly bright. And the hint to that is that the backs of them are so white, I mean, gold and really, really white. So, you know, these are just like all the Rider Waite cards that you've ever seen that are pretty straightforward. And uh, but the colors really pop, and so oh, they probably look really great on the uh, camera too. But uh, I love using these. Let me turn this light off I've got on over here because that kind of doesn't give them a true uh, color. So well, there you go, the Albano Weight Tarot. I don't know uh, what company they come from, uh, crazy enough, but um, they're great cards. And I just uh, spread them out like this so you can get an idea, you know, what they look, what different cards look like, and maybe uh, help you figure out if you want to buy. Something I've been using, or um, you know, if you're just nosy like I am, I just used to always like to know, uh, wondered what the cards uh, look like that the, the uh, readers were using. So it's a good way to shuffle them up. If you're doing a reading for somebody, it's not a bad way to let them uh, get their hands on the card, get some energy in there. Albano Weight Tarot. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So, ciao for now.